when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, my two brothers, myself and my father all got into the service. I was with the Army Paratroops. We made the first combat jump in North Africa in November 1942. We began taking islands off the coast of Italy, knocking out radar so that they, they couldn't pick up our bombers on the way in when they, when they invaded Italy. In Anzio, I got blown out of a foxhole and my assistant gunner was, was killed immediately. I was unconscious and when I came to, there was this massive German. He looked at me and in perfect English, he said, for you the war is over. He asked me to get up and when I started to get up, I realized that part of my intestines were protruding on the ground. He said, we don't have anybody here that can help you. He says, uh, I can shoot you now and save you a lot of pain. He said, we do have an aid station about three kilometers from here, and you, if you can make it, we'll send you back and see what they can do. Well, I, I made it back to their aid station, and they picked up a flat rock and sanitized it, pushed my intestines back in, and wrapped that flat rock real tight around my waist. Of course, they said, we don't have the capability of sewing it up here. I was put into a truck, and sent into Rome. And uh, they sewed it up. The next night, uh, I, I escaped because I knew if they ever got me out of Italy, I, my, my chances of getting away were nil. I had a watch that I traded to a German guard to turn his back for a few minutes and I took off. And I went for about 72 hours and I was so exhausted that I crawled up in a, in a hayloft in a barn and fell asleep. And the next uh, thing I know is I got a boot in the ribs <laughs> uh, waking me up and the, the farmer, if he had discovered or they had discovered that he was trying to help me, they would have shot him. So he turned me in and the, the guards came and picked me up put me on a train bound for Germany. And I was taken to Stalag 7A, Stalag being the German word for their concentration camp. They had marked me with a black triangle on my knees and one in the middle of the back and put a red dot on my knees to indicate potential escapee. They wanted me to work cleaning up the debris in Munich and I refused to work. So they said, no work, no food. The food, because of my stomach, I couldn't eat anyway. It was a, the ration was a piece of bread and normally something called spinach soup without the spinach. <laughs> the guards that they had on us were elderly. And so getting away from one of them was not too bad. I got away from them. I was going south, but uh, I got picked up again. I had lost so much weight that I was easy to spot. They sent me back to the to the other camp and it was run over. I was in solitary again for the previous escape. And uh, the Russian soldier walked in there. And of course, I recognized that he was not one of my, one of my regular guard. And I pointed to the flag that I had on my shoulder, which was an American flag. And he, he didn't speak English and I certainly didn't speak Russian or German. And so he called, they called for an interpreter and I told them that I was an American. They wanted to know what I was doing in their camp. I, told, <laughs> I didn't have any choice. Uh, they said, we're going to repatriate you through Odessa. And I said, how long is that gonna take? And they said, about seven months. And that night I picked up a pair of pliers and I cut my way through the fence again. And it took me from 20 April until 6 May to negotiate the distance of about 70 miles. And that was sleeping in the daytime because the Germans were still on the loose and I moved at night. 
Now on the 6th of May, I reached the Mulder River and the Americans were there. I, I walked across this pontoon bridge that they had and there was a captain standing there and he says, you look hungry to me, soldier. And they sent me to the mess hall. And of course, my stomach probably was about the size of an egg and two bites and I was full. That completed that my tour in Germany, which covered about 15 months. I came back to the United States and I was in the hospital for about 90 days. I, I got out of the hospital and I went to work for civil service. 